So how does it, does it all look, is my hair good? Do I, it's all good. <laughs> all right, we're rolling. Ghislaine, you've been a philanthropist your whole career and now you're focused on a new protectorate, the world's oceans. Tell us about your idea and how global citizens can save our common oceans. The ocean is absolutely vital to all planetary life systems. I call it the blue heart of the planet. It creates more than 50% of the oxygen we breathe. It feeds 16% of the global population. It monitors all, it uh, creates our weather, rainfall, it sequesters carbon. Imagine this, anything you drop, wherever you are right now watching this, drop something on the floor. That will go into the dustbin. From the dustbin, it will go to the trash. It will go to a landfill. It will then biodegrade. It'll end up in a, a water system below that, which will then go to a river, which will then go into the ocean. So every single thing that you drop on land, wherever you are, ends up in the ocean. For thousands of years now, the ocean has just ended up being basically the largest dustbin in the world. One of the other problems with the ocean is that everyone has always thought the ocean was infinite, an infinite resource, constantly able to regenerate itself. Well, that's just not true. You can't just keep expecting everything to keep going, to the fish to keep breeding and the ocean to keep healthy because it just doesn't work that way. And I think the ocean is just too big to fail. When I was a little girl, I grew up watching Jacques Cousteau on TV and I was mesmerized by the beauty of the ocean and the colorful and magnetic fish that I saw on TV. I started diving when I was nine. And then since then, I've had the opportunity to go around the world multiple times, visiting some of the last remaining pristine and magnificent places on the planet, seeing what the ocean really should look like. When you see and you swim in a place and you're surrounded by thousands of sharks and beautiful, colorful corals and lots of magnificent fish, you just realize how much is missing from, say, other oceans that you visit that just don't have that kind of wildlife. And you can't really see what's happening underneath the water. Not everybody dives. The other part is that the ocean is so vast that you know, when you go to the sea, the, the seashore, you only see that little piece of the seashore. You might see some plastic debris on there, but you don't see much past that. And it's very hard to connect to something that you don't feel a part of and that's something that you can't see. If the destructive activities were happening on land like they are happening on the ocean, I think that there would be a worldwide outcry. Less than 2% of the ocean is protected, whilst uh, comparable on land, over 12% of the land is protected. That just makes no sense to me at all, given just how vital and important the ocean is. Overfishing is a tremendous threat. You shouldn't be able to fish where the fish are making babies. Taking out the fish in the breeding grounds is just doesn't make sense. It's just not, it's just not smart. You cannot take out keystone species or the big sharks or the tunas and expect there not to be a knockoff massive problem in the ocean. There are, in fact, some scientists who are suggesting that by 2050 that uh, we'll be depleted of major fish stocks. That's a huge problem. There are currently around 150 dead spots across the ocean. Dead spots mean hypoxic areas where there's no O2, meaning that there's no life. If the ocean dies, I'm not sure exactly what the outcome will be, but Definitely not good. 64% of the ocean lies outside of any single country's jurisdiction. And under the law, it forms the global commons. That means it belongs to you. And up until now, there's never been a way for you to connect to your commons, join your commons, or even indeed share in the benefits of your commons. The Terramar project is a online platform, full digital platform. At the base of it, it has a desire to educate people and bring information and create a global community around that ocean. You can come to the Terramar Project, sign in, get your ocean passport that makes you a citizen of the ocean, a citizen of your global commons, spread the word that you love the ocean, tell everybody that you want it to be managed sustainably, and send a really important message to the United Nations that you want the oceans to be part of the Sustainable Development Goals being voted on in September of 2014. Tell everybody how much you love the ocean. Involve your friends and family. 
make a difference, love your planet for generations to come. <laughs>